My next guest is an actor you know from Leave No Trace and Jojo Rabbit. She now stars in the film Last Night in Soho. Miss Collins? Yes? It's Ellie. We spoke on the phone. Oh, yes. Room is on the top floor. I have a few rules. Don't take smokers. I don't smoke. No male visitors after 8 o'clock. What's a problem. And no using the laundry room at night. It rattles right through to mine. I don't do laundry. I? I mean, I don't do nighttime laundry. I do do laundry. I'm very clean. Good. It's a bit old fashioned for some, but I won't do nothing to it. If you don't like it, you can find somewhere else. It's perfect. I love it. Please welcome to The Late Show, Thomason McKenzie. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Nice to meet you. You too. I understand this is your first uh, American talk show. It is. I think first talk show full stop. Oh. Yeah. Well, honored to have you here. I love the outfit you chose for it. I love houndstooth. That's fantastic. Thank you. This is not... I'm not naturally a very stylish person, so this is all up to my stylist, Thomas. Oh, <laughs> how nice. Well done, Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I, uh, you hail from Wellington, New Zealand, yes. which is a town I just love and a country I just adore. Thank you. I would like to say, I heard that you'd come to Wellington, New Zealand. That is where I'm from. That's where I was born. Um, and I'm unbelievably offended that you didn't come say hi to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, do, do you know Brett McKenzie and Lucy Lawless? Um, I don't know them personally, but my parents directed a film called The Changeover that okay. Lucy Lawless was in. All right, because I hung out with them. Mm -hmm. So if they had told me so about you, we definitely would have like. come by. Yeah, you have to yeah. talk to them. Matter of fact, when I was there, they tried to uh, help me get into the real spirit of New Zealand, mm -hmm. since I admire your country so much, and they picked out, helped me pick out this outfit. Do you think, do you think I <laughs> nailed the New Zealand look, in your professional um. opinion? <laughs> Sort of like Sam Neill, but also uh, very old. <laughs> um, this is the first time we've met, so I don't want to offend you. I don't want to get off on a rocky start. Then I might stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> but I will be honest, that I think everything up until there works. So the, I don't understand the tie, and I don't understand the hat. That's more Australian than New Zealand. Oh, really? Yeah. I bought all of this in Wellington. That's all I'm going to say. I oh. bought everything in one store. I think someone might have been messing with They've you. They've been messing with you? <laughs> well, I'm surprised because uh, when you leave New Zealand, mm -hmm. and I don't know how much time you spend outside of your home country, I know that New Zealanders are the most traveled people in the world, right? Like, a third of y'all are always traveling at some really? point, right? That's what I understand. You guys use your passports either. more than anybody else. Wow. I don't know why, because I wouldn't want to leave New Zealand. Yeah, I, don't, I never usually want to leave New Zealand either until, when, I get to, until I get overseas and I see people that I love again. When you go back, do you realize, like, what a special place that you're from? Yeah, I really do. I really do. I think, um... Actually, what that interview that you did, or that day that you had with Lucy Lawless and Brett McKenzie, and I remember you were on the crocodile bike yes. and the harbour, and there was a lady that you guys came across who just like was not interested at all, despite the fact that she had some of like the most incredibly famous people, you know, riding a bicycle, a crocodile bike alongside her. She just did not care. Like was no. That's very New Zealand. I actually, <laughs> I actually said it's, it's Lucy Lawless and Brett McKenzie, and she goes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, it wasn't rude. It was like the New Zealanders, Kiwis, are some, such, some of the nicest people I've ever met anywhere in the world. Yeah. Why do you think you're so damn nice? I don't know. I think it's just very grounded in New Zealand and you don't really get a chance to become too big for your boots. There's something called tall poppy syndrome. So like Tall poppy? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where like you just, I don't know, people, don't, people in New Zealand don't tolerate people being ass basically, I think. <laughs> Am I allowed to say That's, that? No, you can definitely say it. <laughs> okay. We'll have to bleep it, but it's an excellent rule. It's an excellent rule. Now, the, 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 the new movie, Last Night in Soho, mm -hmm. um, it's a psychological horror. Do you like horror films? 
Um, it's not. I don't usually gravitate towards horror films. Mm -hmm. What was it like to make one? If you if you don't like. Yeah, I think um, you know it's pretty similar to being on a normal set. Um, it definitely helps that. I don't get scared watching Last Night in Soho because I know every single thing that happens. I was there mm -hmm. throughout the whole shoot and nearly every single shot. So like there was no way that I was going to be getting any jump scares. Um, but yeah, I think just, I don't know, for me it was just very similar to being on in any set, a comedy or a drama. Um, I think on horrors people tend to want to balance out the, the terror with joy and with laughter. So um, it was lots of fun. Now, the director, Edgar Wright, gave you a list of 50 films that he yes. wanted you to watch before you actually did his movie. Yeah. Did you watch all 50 films? I watched 49 out of 50. <laughs> there was, wow. Suspiria was one of them, and I was not about to go there. <laughs> uh, the original, the one from the 70s? I think so. Wow. Yeah. Growing up in New Zealand, were you exposed to a lot of American culture? Did you like watch TV, American TV? Yeah. What did you like? What was big over there? Because I imagine it can't be everything that we have here. I think like when I was growing up, that was kind of the, the start of like when YouTube was becoming really popular. Okay. So like, you know, makeup tutorials and days in my life and all of that kind of stuff. <laughs> And I'd see everyone going to Bath and Body Works and Target and, and that kind of thing. So that's kind of what I associate with So America. Target was very exotic for you. Yeah, yeah. And I think, because with TikTok and everything, like, that stuff is becoming, I don't know, like, my little sister, she's 14 and she's TikTok, TikTok obsessed. So she not has a great understanding of, you know, that, like, the um, kind of, Target and Bath and Body Works and stuff. And when she found out that I would be coming to America, she didn't say, oh, I'm going to miss you or like anything like that. She said, okay, can you go to Target for me? <laughs> and can you get da 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 yeah. like, Have no. you been to Target yet? <laughs> no, it's not my place. <laughs> it's not your place to go? You don't think it's the place for you, Target? It's just not an environment in which I would feel comfortable, I don't think. <laughs> because there are too many options or it's too big of a... I get overwhelmed very easily. Even going to the supermarket, I'm like, it's too much. So um, I think Target would just be a little bit too far. <laughs> okay. What can you get there that you can't get here that you miss when you're here? Mm, my family. <laughs> that, is, that is an excellent answer. <laughs> and my dog. Thomas, it was so lovely to meet you. Me too. <laughs> Last night in Soho is in theaters tomorrow. Thomas and Mackenzie, everybody. We'll be right back.